Hi Pisces, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 19th to the 25th and I'm sorry I'm late but as you most probably know and have seen my update before I was taken offline um, I have no internet that's why I've not been live and I'm missing you like mad <laughs> you, some people might think it's a good thing and um, because it's addictive because I yes it is addictive because I do miss you and you don't know how much I miss you I love you all very much so let's get started with your reading because I'm trying to do as many readings as I can I won't be editing them there will be rough cuts as they say so I hope you will forgive me for that at least your reading is out for the week I love you please like and share and if you are new welcome to the channel please click on the bell on all and set your settings in YouTube and your mobile device let's get started with your reading you have the Queen of Cups so you could be meeting a Scorpio but don't exclude Pisces or Cap uh, Cancer these people are quite spiritual they could be psychic um, or big as they um, are very emotional and they're open to the energies around them they um, listen also to their intuition and the Queen has her emotions under the control the King is of course better because he's got his emotions definitely on under control as he's also a man and he looks at things businesslike the Queen is a loving caring so is the King um, a nurturing uh, personality she is really a brilliant mother figure like the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles they are really the mother characters in the tarot so you could be uh, meeting one of these people but this could also be you you might be more sensitive at the moment because we've got two moons we had one moon full moon on the 1st of October and we'll have the second moon uh, coming up on the 31st and this is also um, the <coughs> we're going into Scorpio so the energy will be very very sensitive water psychic spiritual very very spiritual because on the 31st this is the time actually this month um, but especially on the 31st the veil between heaven and earth is very thin in some cases it might be lifted so some of you might be visited by a spiritual being an angel or a deceased ancestor the ancestors will be here definitely around the week up to the 31st but in your case it is already here okay remember we're going into October um, the 21st of October um, in a couple of days that is on Wednesday or Thursday I believe but so those could be very emotional days for you but it could even have effect for you on Monday you've got the six of cups so you might be thinking back to your childhood or to uh, yesterday in the past you might be reminiscing about somebody that you miss this could be a parent this could be a child this could be a, a, a pet this could be a very sensitive mo a time for you so be aware keep your emotions under control but keep your solar plex and your heart open and your mind to receive the messages from your ancestors or the angels or the divine this is really beautiful and I think it will be some kind of nourishment for you to know that they are very getting closer to you and they will be e uh, be able to communicate with you much easier because you are a spiritual being and very intuitive it's nostalgia in this deck 
there could be somebody coming back from the past. Like I said, somebody might be trying to tap your shoulder, or you might have a door that slams, or you might see all of a sudden at this funny time of year butterflies or moths um, or uh, dragonflies. Wow, that is magical. That is them showing you that they are there. On Wednesday you have the Ten of Pentacles and Reunion. So yes, you might have a reunion with a spiritual being as the tarot is spiritual, okay? And um, you with the cups, the Queen of Cups. But something is coming to an ending and there's a new beginning. There will be um, material wealth. If you have a business, you might be getting more clients. If you um, work, you might be getting a pay rise, so you will be able to afford uh, a new home perhaps, or expand, or you might be finding out that you're pregnant. There is a new beginning on the way, and more material wealth. You might even inherit money, as the Ten of Pentacles means inheritance, family, ancestors, etc. Expansion, moving home, being pregnant, giving birth to something, a new project, perhaps new clients, like I said, more money is coming. You hold the key. You're the key in this factor, okay? Now, if you are not married, you might be getting a proposal, because you've got two Ten of Pentacles, and I um, didn't know that. I've, I thought this was the King of Pentacles, and tradition. You might be getting married, so you might be getting a proposal. Boom! You might find out you're pregnant at the same time. Big money, and the ten is an ending and is a new beginning, and a ten becomes a one. So you've got two ones. It's the angels already showing you a sign. Wow! This is mind blowing. Ah, great, love it. On Friday, you've got the Empress, and I was talking about the Empress, and this is a fairly new deck to me, and she's awesome. Look at the butterfly at the back of her chair, and I'm saying things, and I'm just realizing it now. Although, I, you know, I've got so many decks, I can't remember what each picture looks like. Um, but actually, these are signs already from the angels and the divine and she is Mother Earth, and this means protect uh, birth, giving birth something. If you want to get pregnant, then this is the time. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. If you are too mature to get pregnant, then you will be hearing news about a pregnancy. Like I said, this could be a child, but this could also be a new project, like moving home, buying a home, refurbishing a home, and transformational time big time. You've got Duffs and you've got the star here and Matus is walking all over the cards, sorry about that, and this is a transformational time. You have sown seeds or manif uh, set um, intentions and they're coming to fruition. Three is also creativity, so you've been creative in constructing your manifestations and your plans and are coming to fruition now as the Empress is the Mother Earth and she nurtures every seed that she sows like the Mother, the Cup Queen of Cups Wow, and you've also got two moons and we've got two moons this month this is mind-boggling and blowing Wow! This is a beautiful month. I think this is going to be the best week or the best month yet for you this year. You might feel out of balance though because you might be so busy. But money is coming in. Something great is coming in. The angels, these signs of transformation, the butterflies, uh, um, new beginnings um, and endings. Uh, also the dove of peace and the star. Uh, awesome. Look at the divine light going through her. Uh, awesome. You will be, um, I reckon you will be pairing up with somebody or something and your plans are coming to fruition. You don't have to feel out of sorts anymore.
you at the end of the week you will be imbalanced because he's balancing everything here you are emotionally imbalanced because you are the queen and the mother earth the empress and the empress is higher than any queen you have your emotions under control and you know how to work with the divine and the angels you are open enough to understand the messages things might have been delayed and things might still be delayed but I also think because you've got the hanged man you've got a lot of spiritual cards here this is more of a spiritual reading you are becoming conscious of who you are what you want and how to deal with it and how to contain the right emotions to be businesslike if you need be because I know Pisces women definitely they're very very good business women <sighs> and there might have been delays but I think you've got a different perspective on things and you've taken control because the hanged man um, has hung himself up by his own free choice to get a different perspective to take time out like uh, let's have a look no that's not here to take time out and to meditate contemplate and evaluate and perhaps this has been you as well delaying things but now you've got a different perspective and you're ready you're coming out of this position and again you are becoming the queen of pentacles you have the three of uh, mother earths what do I mean well the queen of pentacles she also plants seeds she also stands for fertility she also nurtures the seeds and make them grow until they blossom she invests she's got the green fingers so like I think you three you've got the Empress and you've got the three nurturing we most nurturing women in the tarot and I'm getting to hear Holy Trinity so again back to the spiritualism you have what it takes Wow you will get big results Wow you've also got the Queen of Swords you've got your emotions under control like the Queen of Swords the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo so you could be meeting a Virgo but you could also be meeting a Libra so Virgo Libra time might have been the best time for you yet and you're going into a better time even more into your own element water okay clarity has come through to you okay things have become clear you've been the nurturing mother you've you've been the nurturing person uh, you've taken care of the home life with all these three women and now you have the career side so there might be a new career here like I said a promotions or a new career you might be getting married you might be extending the family you might have even seeked a gynecologist advice to get pregnant because you wanted to get pregnant again you see lots of butterflies and you see the rainbow heaven and earth are connected and she's opened her mind to the divine very very spiritual reading Wow perhaps a Gemini or a Libra or a Virgo uh, sorry a Virgo or a, a, a Libra has helped you okay the Empress is again represents Libra and uh, the Queen of Cups is Scorpio so Virgo Libra and Scorpio time is the most spiritual time or healing nurturing time for you just have a look back at this and to top it all you have the universe which is the world the world is your oyster you are in balance like I said you he's balancing things here he might feel out of sorts you might have felt out of sorts you might have taken the time out literally because you've outgrown people or groups and you have gone to work you took action and you're back in balance you are on top of the world and this is the angel showing you you've come round a full circle she's holy holding the hula hoop okay 
and again the star you are the star you've got your wish something comes round uh, a full circle an end of a face a new beginning moving home like i said with the ten of pentacles um, expanding the family reuniting uh, remembering the good old days you might be reuniting with somebody spiritually or physically you might be getting a promotion because the world also means going up to the next level either in business or in relationship and you might be traveling as well this is right right and actually quite an emotional reading for me because it means so much because it's such a spiritual um, reading and you've got the hills overcoming problems overcoming uh, obstacles to overcome you have overcome the obstacles and we've got the nest an emotional secure loving family is important to you there you go you the nest is the beginning that's the eggs is the beginning of a new project or a new life you have created your own little nest with the Queen of Cups the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles and you've been business like you're putting it down you know what to do you can keep everything clear and on in order then you have the desk pay attention to your work pay attention to your work and that is what you've done you've been precise you've been planting the seeds and it's coming to fruition now and for the angel card or oracle card you have crystal protection crystal energy archangel michael is leading you to a protective crystal to wear or work with the shield is a symbolically presented to you by archangel michael as a powerful tool of protection all crystals have naturally protected protective qualities because of their calming and balancing influences however when Archangel Michael guides you to a specific sp um, protection crystal it is because this crystal will s strengthen your inner and outer defenses as its energy amalgamates amalgamates with yours the word aura comes from the Greek word meaning a breeze. The aura represents the sun, total energy admit, emitted by chakras. The auric field is two transmitter connecting us with the vibrations around us. A strong and vibrant aura offers protection against many things because it senses at a subconscious level a strong auric field can detect potential harm and repels negative energies a protection crystal with its symbolic vibrations can assist with strengthening your aura and therefore heightens your intuitions and angelic guidance concerning personal safety wow and what did i say the reading is really really spiritual so see which stone um, attracts to you or you are attracted to the most and wear it with you as protection thank you for watching this video please like and share and i hope to see you very very shortly in real life on air ciao ciao stay safe and be blessed